A big announcement from the San Diego Unified School District. The Board of Education has approved hazard pay for some employees. Let's get it back out to News 8's Netta Ronpour to explain who qualifies for this, Netta. Yeah, we had a chance to speak with the superintendent about this hazard pay. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it does go to people who are going to be face to face with a lot of these families who actually come through and pick up food and pick up computers. That's what uh, they're doing right here. In fact, they're picking up meals, lunch for today, breakfast for the next day. These are families who count on school meals for their kids. And right now, since they're doing online education, this is their way to be able to feed their children. So this has been a very busy place for, since about 11 o'clock when this opened up. And many of these were Workers right here are volunteers, but there are other employees with the food and nutrition services who will be getting that hazard pay. In fact, it's going to be retroactive to March 16th when all of this started. Here's a listen now to Cindy Martin, the superintendent, about why it's so important that these workers get that extra money. We have employees who are literally putting their lives on the line to keep others safe. And that includes people who are feeding our students who need access to nutrition services and our workers who are helping us connect every student to the internet so they're ready for distance learning. So Cindy Martin right there explaining the hazard pay does apply to anyone who could have potential exposure to the coronavirus. That includes those in the food service, those that work in custodial services, along with anyone making deliveries to schools, for the police officers who work on the campuses, and those employees who are helping distribute computers, those Chromebooks to all of their students, plus the security guards who are working at those distribution locations. Basically, anyone who's in contact with families at all will be qualifying for this hazard pay. The Board of Supervisors voted to approve it. It's time and a half pay. It'll be offered retroactive to March 16th to employees that are considered basically disaster service workers. Federal stimulus dollars are coming into the school districts. The superintendent says about $5 million of that will be for this hazard pay. A group of national education organizations are asking for $550 billion to address this pandemic in schools nationwide over the next two years. San Diego Unified says for them the cost is about 18 million to switch to distance learning for this semester alone, but then it'll be another 50 million if they need to make this transition last through summer school. Right now they are distributing 40,000 Chromebooks. They're all being cleaned up. They're getting them out of about 6,000 classrooms. So those workers are also considered part of the disaster service workers. Also want to mention the meals that have been served up until now. They've already been distributing 300,000 meals so far. These meal distribution sites are available every day day for families who again normally count on lunches at school and of course they don't have that option so they're driving by picking up food for their kids so they can continue to get that much needed nutrition as they try to figure out the inner workings of the online education system.